Zach Levine. What's up? What I mean, it? did did you not see my my joking tweet earlier? I retweeted like two of your tweets, but I don't oh, okay, know. okay. Well, well, there was one that had Zach uh, Caruso and Demar all listed as you know like questionable. And yeah, it was Zach's right foot, and it yeah. was Demar's left ankle and Caruso's left foot. And I was like, well, the guys with right foot injuries have to go first. The guys with left foot injuries are stuck in bulls hell a little while longer. <laughs> <laughs> right on. That's, that's the signal we're sending to the league. Yeah, that, that's exactly what we're doing. I think he's full of shit. And I think they're working on this trade. Yeah. yeah. I, I, if I'm, I'm telling you now, if I'm Arturis Karnaschovas, and I would still, yes, I'd still want to be him because he's rich. But I would not play. I would not. Pay and he's in con- control of your favorite sports. One hundred percent. I would not play Zach Levine for the rest of the season, or for the rest of until we trade him. Is what I mean. I would not. God, I'm just hoping. And people are like, "Oh, you can get in trouble for that." He's got right foot soreness. He's got right foot soreness. I, I can fucking I can linger this shit out, dude. You know. Yeah. No. I mean, I don't think Zach should play. You're, you're risking an injury. Um it's clear that both sides want this to go the other way. He's telling other teams, calling about other players to fuck off for the time being, that he's got to prioritize the Zach the Bean trade, and he wants to see what his roster looks like after that. Um, do, you, do you think he's going to keep Caruso, the biggest trade chip probably in the <laughs> like on the contract? Do you think he's going to keep him? Because like I, I'm sitting here thinking too, like I can't play him either. There's like three times I thought he died tonight. And I was just like, this I can't handle this shit. See, but I can't imagine what the conversation is like trying to tell Alex Crusoe oh, that he can't, you can't play a basketball you can't. Game. No, you can't. He'll suit up and just go out there anyway. You've got to, you've got to lock you. that guy up in his locker and just tell him that he's not allowed on the floor um, because he'll run out there in street clothes. So I, 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 um, I wonder if my prediction was right, Goose. I wonder if. That was his last, that fucking, what what was it, one for nine performance for two points or some shit? I wonder if that was Zach Levine's last. I, it's probably not. But it's probably not. I mean, we that'd went be through, super we cool, went though. Through, we went through a couple of shows before, too. Did we? Yeah. yeah oh. We well, I wanted it to first, be. The first time that he sat out, we went there. Oh, I wanted it to be. So so maybe maybe it is the case, though. Maybe we are just, like, right on the, the, the verge of the trade, and then it doesn't happen. And then they're like, okay, now you better sit. It's still close to being dead, but we don't know. So They need to call Detroit. They, I mean, they need to call anybody that isn't the Lakers. The fact I, that- I, like, we need to fleece someone stupid because I think the league is like, oh, wow. He could score the ball a little bit, but he's a diva, and it, it, and that's that's what it is. And I know yeah, people don't like no, to hear that, but that's no, what it is. Uh, and, the, and the Lakers situation really having to wait until January 15th to make a deal for Zach with all of their – Freshly signed players being the ones that they need to uh, match salaries to acquire him. Um, I'm really hoping AK in this next month and a half can figure something out that is not Rui Hachimura and Austin Reeves. Because if the media spin into building Austin Reeves into this all-star caliber player (laughs) results in him being traded to my team for our once all-star, I will cry. And I, that's not even because I think Austin Reeves is a bad basketball player. I'm not ignorant to that level. I think Rui and Reeves are both fine players. But as I put on Twitter today, I think that trade would be the equivalent of a Tory Craig and Javon Carter offseason. And when you're trading your max player, um, the guy that's supposed to be your best player, if you make me feel like I just had a Tory Craig, Javon Carter offseason after the trade, there's going to be a riot. Let me ask you about this trade that Keith Smith – Oh, I liked I liked all of his trades. Oh, you did. So you saw the trade. Read them off for the people. Yes. Well, I was just going to give you trade too. Um, Is that the one where we get Benedict Mathurin? Yes, it is. Because around a package with Levine. Yeah, that's the one that I like the most. Like, do you do that immediately? If that's okay. Yeah, I do immediately. That that's a pretty. I mean, I I I feel like that is very unlikely. I don't think you're going to get a player on a rookie contract with more potential or better now. Uh, than Benedict Mathurin is. Well, the only re- the only reason I don't think Keith is like, and, and just go with me here for a minute. The only reason I don't think he's super off base is because I mean, listen, where did Levine? And it's such a small fucking sample size, but where did he excel the most when he was next to an elite level point guard? 
Well, no, I mean, Halliburton minus the defensive prowess of Lonzo is probably the closest thing that you have there. Um, you just had Paul Pierce on uh, KG's podcast saying that he thinks Halliburton might be the best combination of passing and shooting that he's ever seen in a player. And obviously that's him getting hyperbolic, but he's not too far off in that statement in terms of just those two skills individually. Uh, there is not really too many people that we've seen um, in this league that can do both. Yeah. Uh, it would allow Zach to play off ball. Um, and I don't know. I think Zach's a good fit over there. And the irony there is we could have had Halliburton with Zach. And you wouldn't have had to even pick up Lonzo. Yeah, but like you said, I mean, I wonder if Indiana – I mean, Indiana has a chance here to build a little decent core. And, like, again, if they keep Mathurin, I think he's going to be fantastic. I mean, he's still he's still getting better. Um, it just is like, when do you want to compete? And, it, and But to your point, though, is Zach better than Mathurin? I don't think – I don't know. I mean, he could, uh, score, he could score better, no doubt. He could, I mean, he could, already, I think he could score like, better. I think Indy's already the highest-scoring team in the league. Yeah. At this point of the season. That's true. Um, so you swap out Zach from a third, and I'm sure that probably goes up even more. Um, I think a core of Hallie, Zach, uh, Miles Turner would definitely be a good show. I think so. I agree with that. That would be fun. I mean, for them, I mean, I, I'd be happy to get Zach out of here, and then he'd ultimately not be great over there because I just think Indiana always crashes and burns, you know, just – they're in a central division. There's a big there to Indiana fans. So um, that's what we do here. We talk shit to other fans. We don't do that. I just did it now. But I want that trade. Give me Mathurin. So that, that's the one I wanted out of the Give list. Give me Mathurin, and then I saw an Okoro trade in there somewhere. Yeah, here, let me pull it back up. Yeah, there was a um, – but the Okoro, who was the Okoro trade for? I think that one might have been around Vooch. Was it really? No, no, that one wasn't Vooch. No. Oh, Vooch. Oh, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. So trade one, uh, Zubak from the Clippers, Russ, and Amir Coffey for Nikola Vucevic and Terry Taylor. So that's the first um, hypothetical trade that Keith Smith, Smith put on there. I just read you guys the Mathurin, Zach Levine one. Uh, trade three, this is one that I've been kind of saying to you for like a while. Um, I thought we might be, we're going to get a first round pick from Memphis, and that would be sweet. Because Jaws is going to be coming back soon. But Brandon Clark, which I don't like how – I mean, his contract is big, but it's decent value. Um, four years, $50 million for him. And then Luke Kennard at $30 million over the next two years uh, with a second-year team option. And a first-round pick for DeMar DeRozan and Javon Carter. That's a trade that I kind of dig uh, for getting the first-round pick from Memphis because they have a lot – I mean, again, they, I, I highly doubt they would give us an unprotected first round. Maybe a top three if we were to get lucky for 2024 but because they have their picks. But I don't think that that would happen. Um, trade four is Dyson Daniels and Kira Lewis Jr. and a first round pick from Milwaukee via New Orleans for Alex Caruso. Um, that will uh, tell that might be the only one that I don't like that much. So, you don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about the Kira Lewis Jr. and the Dyson Daniels and the first round pick from Milwaukee for Caruso. I'm not doing that trade at that point. I'd rather just keep the, the headband bandit, right? Uh, trade five Isaac Okoro, uh, for Io Desimu and Dalen Terry. Yeah, I'd do that one, too, in a heartbeat. Uh, although Io obviously is a little harder to let go, but just to see Dale and Terry somehow salvage something worth of value uh, before his uh, contract extension is up again and they decide not to pick it up the next time. I, they um, can't, right? I don't know. I mean, you let him sit there and wait on it until the last day this year, um, and he's been in street clothes more times than not. Obviously, he did see the floor tonight for, I believe, four minutes. But he did. It was four minutes, dude, and he had a rebound. He had a rebound. That's about half of what Pat did on the glass. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe he does have a future in the league. All right. Here on this show, we'd like to admit it be up front with everybody right away. We are for the tank. <laughs> <laughs> Just letting everybody know real quick, dude.